Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give um, explanation and some snippets with examples on the for loop. So for loop is in capital, it uh, works similarly uh, how it works in other programming languages, allowing you to execute a block of code repeatedly based on a specific condition. So the for loop is particularly useful when you know the exact number of iteration you want to perform. Alright, so it's very common like other programming languages but still if you have a new or using with the even handlers like on start is yes, it makes a few difference and let's learn this uh, with from basics all right so now what i'll do is i'll just create um, variables and yes we know where we have to create a variable we should create a variables in the variable section sorry all right okay so I'll just give the integer is i because you know i is one of the very common variable used for demonstrating for loop. So I use the same. Can use anything, but just give as a i on start will give for i is equal to say one. I is lesser than or is equal to um, say 20 I plus plus and this is the syntax I'll just mention like um, or the iteration iteration number is Yes. Yeah. All right. So it ends. Now, what is the expectation? I have to get the iteration number is from one till nineteen or twenty. Let's see. Twenty. It should. Let's. Sorry. If it is lesser than yeah. Let's run this. I'll just save it and compile it. No errors. If there is any error, you can get from here itself but still yeah uh, let me run it yes see the iteration number is 20 let me stop it and give some mm, thing yes Yes, it printed. All right. Now let's move on to further. We'll use some other example. It's it will give you um, bit complicated, not so much. All right. I'll just give this comment. Comment. Comment out. Yes. Let's start with this line. Um, for I'll start with I is equal to 1 I is lesser than or equal to 10 I plus plus okay this is the same as previous one now let's open a curly brace and give some sorry some plus is equal to i that is we have to add the i in each iteration all right but here you'll get a problem what is the problem is the added number added number from sorry the added number from 1 to 10 is percentage d I'm calling and here I'm calling as sum but okay 
let me run it so here it is showing unknown symbol unknown symbol i'll just save it and i'm running it here you can see unknown symbol sum because the sum is not declared all right so here i'll mention like sum is equal to zero so this is yes now error goes off yes fine i'm giving run i'll just stop this and again give run yes the added number from 1 to 10 is 55 because yes it it took it added 1 by 1 and it ends with 10 plus 9 plus and it ends with 55 to make you understand i'll just give you a simpler number Mm -hmm. I'll give like three. Yes, it works fine. Starting it. See, okay, here, here I have not changed, but still you can see three plus two plus one. All right, uh, it's two, three, one, two, three. Mm, yeah, I'll stop and start again. Yeah, one plus two plus three or six. So if I give till hundred, yes, you can do anyhow. It'll do the same operation. I don't want to spend more time for this, and we'll we'll go with one more example. And uh, in this example, you'll have two for loops. One is a inside loop, and another is a outside loop, or you can say anything. All right. So nested nested for loops, you can say. Alright, so nested loop is nothing but you'll have the two loops. One is the inner loop and another is the outer loop. Alright, so I'll just give quickly. I'll give this, and here I'll instead of this sum, I'll change it as J. Alright, yes. Now let me start with this. For i is equal to one, i is less than I is less than or equal to three values then I plus plus then so for loop so you should not use any semicolon yes again so this is a one loops so outer loop say outer loop and I'll give a inner loop is for J is equal to one J is less than or equal to three j plus plus yes and i'll give the command saying that right sorry not commands so function right function saying that percentage d that is the format specifier for the first variable you can say multiply with the second format identifier percentage g that is i comma j that is i into j so multiplication all right here i'll give the I'll close this command here. Yes, now it works fine. And I'll close this loop. Yes, and we have we have only two loops. Yes, it's fine. The variables has been closed already. And here one loop. Yeah. Yeah, we have one error. What is the error? It is a parse error on 24th line. Yes, because we have not closed the loop properly, I believe one we started here and one we started here so two we closed okay yes i think after this uh, after one this for loop yes we have to use here after this for loop yes we have to use two we have used and in on start yeah, three used sorry one two and three yes we have to use it yeah now let's run this. Yes, one into one. One into, yeah. 
we'll make it still colorful by giving some equal so that it will print exactly what what is this one one cross one one cross two one cross three all right so i'll just give this and yeah i'll give another just q equal to i don't want to declare any variable for this yes let's see yes yeah perfect one cross one 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 cross two one into two 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 into two four three into three nine yes it works so this is a very again basic uh, program on uh, nested if sorry nested uh, for loop that we have used all right so it's this is a outer loop and it's a inner loop and this can be achieved achievable in any programming language and there is no special with uh, capitalist of course we'll have a uh, future videos that will be handling uh, most of the event handlers so here we have only on start like that we have other event handlers that we'll be using in the upcoming videos all right and if you have any queries just feel free to get back to us and we'll catch you in the next video bye